Hey, all you cigar puffers out there, this is Timothy Case, and you're listening to Tim and Wolf's Puff Life. Wolf, Brant Wolf isn't with me right now. He's uh, indisposed this week. Um, some family member manners came up, and he had to go and do that. So you only get to hear my wonderful voice on this uh, podcast today. Uh, today I'm list- or I'm trying out the Cuba Cuba by Acid. Um, and if you are new to this podcast, um, you might know now that we do a cigar review or a pipe tobacco review. So I'm actually going to give you two reviews today. Um, I've tried a pipe tobacco uh, earlier this week, and right now I'm smoking the Cuba Cuba uh, by Acid. And Acid is a big company that does a, uh, flavored cigars. Uh, and this cigar is actually a really decent tasting cigar. It's nice and sweet. Uh, on first draw, uh, almost a little bit fruity. Um, and uh, there's a lot of leather notes to it, which I really like. Um, just a hint peppery um, at the beginning, but once you get past that, it's it's actually really decent. Um, a lot of people don't like the pepperness to cigars, but I, I kind of enjoy it, and it's one of my favorite things about cigars. Uh, one of the things I like to talk, or want to talk about as well, and I might bring this back up with uh, Brent Wolf, is uh, some of my favorite er, icons in pop culture that use that smoke cigars or pipes, either or. Um, before I get into that... Uh, the pipe tobacco that I had was a cherry t- or cherry Cavendish. Um, it's by Blender's Gold, which I picked that up over at Walgreens for about five bucks. And uh, I tried it. I put it in a bowl, smoked it. I smoked it in my corn cob pipe because it was really cheap tobacco, and it's just kind of something I want to blast through, have tastes, have flavors. I've been smoking it for the past couple of uh, days on walks because I love smoking a pipe and walking more than smoking a cigar and walking a uh, cigar is more of my evening leisure type of thing nice calm or nice thing to calm me down along with a uh, glass of Jameson or a glass of scotch uh, or brandy once in a while I, I enjoy that but uh, Blender's Gold Cherry uh, isn't too bad you don't get a lot of the cherry flavor like you do in some cherry Cavendishes. dishes um, it just kind of has a mild bland taste to it. Um, the only issue that I have with it is that when I opened it up, it was very, very moist, kind of like too moist of the tobacco. Um, I'm thinking that I might want to have it dry out just a little bit. That's how moist it was. And maybe I just got a random packet (laughs) that was just moist as hell. But uh, one of the things I don't like in pipe tobacco is how moist some are. Uh, Sometimes when I get a uh, pipe tobacco that's the tobacconist special or the the things that the tobacco shops, cigar shops, pipe shops, whatever, uh, make right there and then, the flavors, I guess, that they put there... Um, sometimes get a little bit of a moistness to it that I just don't like. I need it a little bit more dry so that when I smoke it, it actually burns good. Uh, but if you ever have that issue, remember to pack light. You want a really easy draw through your pipe. Uh, I almost talked my cigar out. I have to puff it every once in a while. Um, Anyway, you want enough loose draw so that it actually gets on the tobacco leaf and and gets the tobacco leaf burning so that you can get that smoke going. Um, Which, that's the one thing I don't like. I kind of like, tend to go for a tighter draw on my pipe. And sometimes if you have too tight of a draw, you can't get enough airflow coming in to actually continue burning, and therefore the pipe burns out. Or you wind up talking the pipe out, or talking the cigar out type of thing. Uh, 
Um, but anyway, uh, for the price, it's not too bad. Um, I'd still rate it less than Red Cap's Wild Cherry because I enjoy Red Cap. It's a cheap pipe tobacco. It only costs me $2 whenever I get it, a little bit over $2. And I can blast through one of those packs really easily. It's an ounce pack. Um, but nevertheless, uh, Blender's Gold isn't too bad. Um, if you're new to pipe smoking, I would suggest Blender's Gold. It's it's actually better than Carter Hall that I've had. And uh, Captain Black does taste good as a black Cavendish. But for the price-wise, uh, you'd probably be better going with Blender's Gold. And you can get that in most uh, Walgreens. And that's where I got mine. So coming up, we might be doing some challenges. Uh, Brant and I, I call it the cheap cigar challenge, uh, but it's also called the gas station cigar. Um, with these cigars, it's going to be really, really cheap. Um, I'll usually probably go to Walgreens and get a couple of those cigars that they have which you wind up getting six at a really cheap price, like 10 bucks for six. Um, that being said, some of the best cigars I've had and I enjoyed are fairly cheap cigars, so don't knock the cheap cigars. There's just some cigars that are made by machines that tend to not have a good taste to it. And I'm a person that kind of is frugal, even if it's a really, really shitty cigar or say I make a meal and it tastes really bad, I still wind up eating through it because that's just kind of how I was raised. <laughs> you don't have things go to waste that way. Whew, excuse me. Anyway, uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is some of the inspirations in cigars that I enjoy or inspiration of people that smoke cigars. That I really enjoy um, in pop culture anyway these are probably not real people some are actually real people others are just kind of more of a character in a TV show or stuff like that uh, people that are more inspiring was pipe tobacco or pipe smokers and cigar smokers um, and it's kind of a small list uh, in no particular order uh, one is Clint Eastwood in a lot of his movies uh, you'll see him smoke a cigar, a specific type of cigar that's more of a, a cigarette-looking style, and it's very narrow in that. Um, I've had a couple of cigars that are that thin. Um, a lot of uh, thin Coronas specifically get to that point. Um, but this one was actually called the Clint Eastwood, which is pretty much one tobacco leaf, throw in filler, roll it up. I don't even think it has a binder in it. Um, but I'll have to check it again. Uh, another one's called Swiss, or, yeah, Swiss Delights. They're okay. Uh, I've had them before, and the only issue that I had with it is, is that you smoke it quickly, and it's done. So if you're a person like me that likes to smoke a cigar while fishing, those are actually not too bad. You might wind up blasting through it, so I'd suggest to get two or three, maybe even four of them per fishing trip. So you can just kind of smoke it, blast through it, not even worry about it. Another person, uh, pipe-wise anyway, pop culture that really, I guess, sparked my interest in it a little, is Popeye, the Sailor Man. And he always had a pipe kind of a corn cob pipe, which is something I have right now, and I use it quite a bit. I have three pipes right now. I have corn cob and two briar pipes, and briar's a, a type of wood that they use. Um, one of my briar pipes is actually a Churchill, which is has to be seven inches or longer, the stem anyway, which I love it. Uh, I think mine's an 11-inch stem. Oh, I'm really liking this Cuba Cuba. Anyway, uh, Popeye had a corn cob pipe with him, and straight pipe. Always had it around, but you never really saw much smoke coming out of it. You know, just a little bit of smoke here and there, just not a lot of smoke. Um, 
but he always had that cob pipe and it was one of those generic things where it's like it's a sailor smoke sailor smoke pipes and there's a pipe that i want to get that's mostly metal it has a, a little bit of briar wood in the bowl um but it's advertised as a sailor's pipe and eventually i'll get one and christen it i'll probably try to christen it on the show if i get one excuse me uh another character a fictional character going back to cigars is uh anthony soprano from the sopranos i've been watching the sopranos lately on uh hulu hbo and it is very very good show i love it i enjoy it and every once in a while you'll see him smoking a cigar and enjoying it and just just bliss there's other people on there that smoke cigars. Um, there's one character on there, I, I couldn't tell you his name, because it's just kind of a supporting character. I have yet seen an episode that he is not, he doesn't have a cigar in his mouth, um, or has a cigar during it. Um, there's only two scenes I've seen him in that he doesn't have a cigar, and one was like a wedding scene, and another one he's trying to put his mom in a nursing home so he can send, or put like guns and money and illegal shit away so he's not getting caught by the cops another person might not be pop culture reference but nevertheless uh, I saw it in a movie anyway uh, Hatfields and McCoys uh, the patriarch of the Hatfields smoked a pipe it was just a little wooden pipe. He had tobacco in it. He enjoyed it. Um, if you ever watch Hatfields and McCoys, uh, starring, uh, I'm trying to remember the actor, it used to be on the History Channel, and it was a mini series, uh, only a three episode mini series. Um, Kevin Costner, that's right. Kevin Costner played the the patriarch of the Hatfields, and. Um, uh, Trying to remember. Bill Paxton. That's his name. Bill Paxton played the patriarch of the McCoys. Uh, God rest his soul. We'll miss you, buddy. Unfortunately, you had your game over, but we, we'll miss you. <laughs> anyway. Bill Paxton didn't smoke on there, but Kevin Costner did because the patriarch of the Hatfields used to smoke tobacco and had a pipe for it um, so right now I'm going to do a mid stick review of my cigar I'm almost halfway so I might as well do one um, so I'm actually getting stronger leather notes I'm still getting a little bit of sweetness and that's just the flavoring from around the the mouth part of the or the cut part that I did on the cigar uh, I'm not getting any pepper notes right now and the ash on that is beautiful I have not had to ash it since I let it up and it's a good decent inch and a half maybe two inch ash on this um, it is just beautiful and I'm really enjoying the taste it's not burnt out it's burnt evenly so Definitely, if you see an acid cigar, Cuba Cuba, I would get one. It's it's actually been one of the best cigars.